What's up everybody? Anthony here from Highlander Games and today we are making our first video for Universus and the My Hero Academia collectible card game and we're gonna open up a box. So let's zoom in a bit and let's see what we have in here. We are finally starting to get organized play going for this game. It's very exciting. I just passed the judge test for the game. There we go. Nice firmly sealed box. Love to see it. And yeah, we're going to be running demo events soon. We'll leave the promos to the side for now. Get this whole thing open. Going to be running demos. Going to be doing strictly My Hero Academia format. We know that Universe is, is a rehash of universal fighting system but we want everyone to be on the same page starting out all right let's see so we have six commons always so one two three four five six then we have usually three uncommons so uncommon one uncommon two uncommon three and we're starting off with an ultra rare we have a ice storm the foiling in this game is really, really good. I like how some of the, like, the character stays matte and the foiling is behind it. It's really, really nice looking. So we're going to put the ultra rares right in the middle. Commons, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uncommons, all right, so we have a character. Characters are usually uncommons unless they're random alt art versions of them. So uncommon, 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 and ultra rare number two. We have a dark shadow ruin. Two packs, two ultra rares. Doing good so far. Hopefully we get a secret rare. That'd be nice. Three, four, five, six. One, two, up. Oh rare and then in the back we have an extra rare so extra rares are essentially foil versions of commons and uncommons which is a pretty interesting thing in this game it's a, it's equivalent to opening up a random foil in a pack of magic cards Two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, and we have a regular rare, then we have the home run comet. All right, so the battery died and the camera, but never fear, we are back. Keep forgetting there's pull tabs on this pack, on these packs. It's always a good thing. Focus, there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uncommons, one, two, three, and then we have a regular rare. We have a touch of decay. Six, one, two, three. We have a racer head, and then we have regular rare, Trey Chic Cape. I'll be honest with you guys, I do not know much about My Hero Academia. I will not lie to you. Let's zoom out a little bit more. So yes, some of these cards seem very silly to me, like Missouri Smash and this ultra rare, the blinding, binding or blinding? Binding cloth capture. Is that an ultra rare? Three ultra rares. Six uncommons, one, another character. Up, oh, we have a regular rare, and then we have an extra rare, the encouraging training partner. <laughs> Two, 
three, four, five, six. Apathetic. And we have a secret rare. Nitro Explosion Ignition. That artwork's, hold on, let's look at that a little bit more. This artwork is, this foiling and artwork is pretty ridiculous. Also has a block modifier of one, which is really, really good. If you know the rules of this game. <laughs> and if you don't, we will actually put a link to how to play the game in the description of this video. Fukumash Tokoyami. And regular rare in irrefutable force of nature. So the best way I've tried describing this game to my customers is that it is flesh and blood light is how I've been describing it. I know it's a poor way to describe it, but this game plays like no other game that I've played and just like flesh and blood tape guy, like that guy. Just like Flesh and Blood, Flesh and Blood plays like no other game that I've played before. So, I figure that's the best way of describing the game to new players. Because Flesh and Blood is a very, very difficult game to master. We have a regular rare, and then we have an extra rare. Oh, we have a character as a foil. That's also very, very fun. That's the cool thing about the extra rares in this game, is because... The characters are usually in an un are usually an uncommon slot. The only way to get them foil is by pulling them as an extra rare. Another regular rare. Six. One, two. Let's see another character. Okay. We have another ultra rare. We have the frog lashing. Artwork's pretty hysterical, actually. I also like that it's artwork straight from the anime. I like that it's straight from the source. I know a lot of people like original artwork in card games. I understand. But this gives me the same vibes as the Final Fantasy card game. Where instead of screenshots from a video game... We just get screenshots from an anime, which is really, really dope, in my opinion. Another ultra rare, specialized sound waves. That's one, two, three, four, five ultra rares and a secret rare. Not sure what the averages are for either, but based on games that I've played in the past and currently play, I'm treating ultra rares as mythics. So it must be pretty good. And if I'm wrong, please correct me. Think fast. We have one, two, three, four, five packs left. Eat my sticky balls. Lovely. Regular rare. I do love the pull tab. Pull tab is my favorite part of these packs so far. Heroic lineage. Three packs left. Will we get another ultra rare? Or does it... Maybe it's six ultra rares per box and then the secret rare takes the spot of one of them? Who knows? We don't. Tape swing ultra rare. Never mind. Six ultra rares. Shoto, we open him as an extra rare. And there's our last rare. Let's go through the two quirk packs. We have Kami Woods. Kamui Woods. Whoops. I'm, I'm more than likely butchering the names of everything here. So please forgive me. And then we have Villains Defeated. And then our regular 
box topper promo was go beyond. So yes, we will be having events at the store. We will be hosting a demo event for this game on March 20th at 3 p.m. It is open to eight players, $10 each. Each player gets a play mat and a exclusive demo deck. We will be having prize support coming in and we will be hosting events on Sundays in the very, very near future. Um, come back for more content about this game and hopefully we will see you guys later. I'm Anthony from Highlander Games and I'll talk to you guys uh, next time. Thank <laughs> you.